Alright, g'day guys and welcome back today to another Obsidian video. Today we're going to be looking at some folder management or file management. Um, and basically the nuts and bolts of it is if we create a new note, um, we can obviously create it where we, we created it. Um, but usually, you know, we, we have a certain number of objects that we'd like to sort of go into specific folders. So maybe we have a magic item and we want them to all be sort of sorted into the magic items folder. Or maybe it's an NPC and we want them in the NPCs folder or a location, you get the idea. We're going to be having a look today at a plugin called Auto Note Mover, um, which basically, as it sounds, it's, a, it's a, a bit of a magical plugin in that it basically automatically moves notes to the correct folder. And it does this based on a tag that we give it. So without further ado, let's jump over and have a look. All right, so I'm in my demo vault. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to settings. We're going to click that into here. I've already got it installed, as you can see. We're going to go through the process. So we'll go community plugins, come up here to browse, and do the auto note mover. All right, you can see this is by Faroo. It's been installed just over 2,000 times. We can click in here, and you'll have an option here to install. Once it's installed, you'll have an option to enable. So go through and click that. While you're doing that, you can obviously come through here and have a bit of a read on how it works. All right, so there's a um, couple of screenshots here on what it looks like and what it does. As always, I recommend you go through and have a bit of a read with that. Um, what I've done though, is I've already installed it um, and I've uh, started to play around. So what I wanted to do is over here, I've created a folder for magic items. I've created a folder for NPCs. All right, you can see in here I've got magic items and NPCs. <clears throat> I'm actually going to recreate this because I want NPCs, but I want it to be uh, supportive of the NPC tag, not just the NPCs, because I'll uh, quite often write NPC instead of NPC, so we'll just do that as well. So what I've done here is effectively I've added a new rule. I just create the plus button. This is the folder name. All right, so I just have to replicate something over here. Obviously, you can select from there the list as well. Here's the tag, make sure you lead with a hash, all right, that's uh, called out here to add a hash at the beginning. Uh, it doesn't like spaces, so try to avoid spaces there as well. Um, and basically what you do is you say, this is the folder, when I see this uh, in there, I wanted to move it to this folder, all right, so this tag. There's also a title here, so let's just try this. We'll try magic items and we'll go magic in the name. All right, um, once we've done that, we can go through and uh, do this. While we're here, I will just mention that there is an exclusion folder. So basically exclusion folders, you, anything you created in the exclusion folder would not be moved automatically. But all right, we've set it up. We've got a rule for magic items. We've got a rule for NPCs and we've got a rule for magic in the name. So let's go through and see what happens. So if I come up here to the top and just create a new note, <coughs> you can see it's gonna create it down the bottom here. This is my magic wand. All right, where did that go? All right, so we got magic items, magic wand. Notice that already, before I had even done anything, all right, it's already gone through magic axe. All right, it's picked up magic in the name and moved it to the magic items folder. All right, so that's incredibly efficient plugin. It's happening in real time. <clears throat> All right, so what else can we do? Uh, so we'll come down here, we'll create a new note. Um, this is my item. I'm not gonna use magic in the name because that will obviously pick it up. We can put the front matter in, which is the dash, dash, dash. All right, so anything between here will be the front matter. We'll put in a tag and we're gonna go magic item. This is my magic item. All right, if we do that, did I get it right? I don't think I did actually. I think it's magic items. Or maybe it's the fact that I had capitals. What did I do wrong there? Let's just check the settings quickly. Oh, it's magic item all caps. There we go. Picked it up automatically. And it's, it's already gone. It's already in there. All right, same thing with, we can go through an NPC. This is Fred. We can do the front matter. Ooh, just do the three, not the four. T 
tag. There we go. NPC. This is Fred. Look, Fred's already in the NPC folder. I don't like. I can't even show you how it works because it's just it's doing it so quickly. All right, so. You know, that's a, a very cool piece of functionality. And if you were to combine that with your templates, what I'm thinking is you would have a, uh, a folder for your templates, obviously, um, not your markdown ones maybe, but if you actually had like a, a story mechanic and you had people and the individual, then what you could actually have is your template could have the tag already in here. Oh, actually, if I do this, <laughs> okay, so to be careful of it's because because it's already like it's gonna move my stuff right. So how would we get around that? This is a great example of when we could actually use the exclusion folder. So uh, let's go z underscore templates. What if this? I wonder if this will work with, let's test it. I wonder if it'll work with subfolders as well. So if we move this back to where it should be, all right, and we come in here and we put in the NPC. Did it move it? It moved it already. So yeah, it doesn't, doesn't flow down, unfortunately. So what that does mean is that you would need to come in here and you would need to add more of your, uh, your folders. So if I come down here and go, uh, people and I add that as an exclusion folder obviously I would ha have to add all of the, the folders for my templates because I want my templates to stay where they are in order for the template added to work um, but now what I could do is I can come in here and it's not going to matter I can have my NPC and my NPCs and it's going to stay where it is. All right, so that's an example of where you would use the exclusion folder. Um, but outside of that, you know, what we could do here, therefore, is come in here and go people or template. Where is people? Individual. All right, this is my thing. And you can see that that's already come through and uh, put that into here. There it is. It's already come through and moved it. So that way you can automatically have your templates set up so that all your tagging is completed. As soon as you use that template to create a new person uh, or a new individual, that's going to automatically put it into the NPC folder. So some of you might find this super useful. Some of you might not want uh, anything to do with automatically moving notes. Uh, you might want more control. Um, but if you do want it, well, now we have access to... Uh, the ability to do so. So anyway, that is Auto Note Mover. Uh, it's a fantastic quick little plugin uh, that can really sort of change the workflow for a number of people I'd imagine. So hopefully you find that useful. Uh, if you are enjoying these videos, please do like and subscribe using the links below. Uh, big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters. Um, if anyone would like to uh, check out my Patreon, the links will be in the descriptions below. Uh, my Patreons get access to all of my templates and, and vaults so that they can uh, use the content that I, I'm creating to, you know, you know, help them on their own learning journey. So got access to templates and tutorials and all that sort of thing. Uh, without further ado, guys, I'll leave you to it. Have a great day and I'll speak to you all on the forums.